That's the VAQ diff oil change done then. Hello and welcome back to the Volks Wizard channel. Today we're going to perform a job on my Mark 7 Golf GTI Club Sport S, which is probably one of the most often overlooked service items I come across on a regular basis. And actually, even if it's done as per Volkswagen's recommendations, it's still not frequent enough to prevent problems being caused by contaminated oil. I'm talking about changing the oil on the VAQ front differential, which is fitted as standard to Mark 7 and 7.5 GTI Performance, GTI Club Sport, GTI TCR, and every single Mark 3 Seat Leon Cupra. But before we get started, let me explain to you what the VAQ diff does and why it's so important. To understand how a VAQ diff works, you first have to understand how a normal open diff works. Many years ago, I saw a Volkswagen Lupo with a normal open diff trying to get out of a parking space where half the car was on mud and the other half was on tarmac. You'd think because it had one of its front wheels on tarmac, it would be able to pull away just fine. But the way its open diff works is that it sends the power to the wheel that's spinning. The reason it does this stupid thing is because it has an open diff and that's designed to compensate for the car going round corners and the inner wheel taking a shorter path to the outer wheel. If it didn't do that, then the inner wheel would just scrape and drag along the tarmac and it would wear it out and cause noise and other problems. What locking differentials do is remain open until they sense slip and then they lock the two drive shafts together only when required, which helps traction. Though with a car as punchy as the Club Sport S, it's still all too easy to spin both front wheels. So it's definitely not a rival for all wheel drive, but it's still really, really good. And it comes with only a very minor weight penalty. As mentioned in previous videos, our parts supplier for these DIY videos is a company called Deutsche Parts. They scour the world looking for genuine parts and accessories for cars and vans, and they offer rapid free delivery to UK addresses from their warehouse in the West Midlands with worldwide shipping available on nearly all of their 50,000 items of stock. They're also connected to a web of global suppliers to make sure if a part still exists then they can get it for you the thing that really sets them apart though is that their experience means that if they say something will fit your car then it will and you don't have to worry about returns or replacements something reflected by their excellent five-star google review rating okay let's start off then by looking at the tools and the parts you need to do this job so firstly you need an eight millimeter allen key because the drain plug and the fill plug are both eight mil the drain you approach from underneath and it's quite tricky with the subframe location so I've been using a ball headed allen key which allows me to go in at an angle. The torque isn't that high that you need to really worry about that because obviously that's not as perfect a fit as a traditional allen key. For the filler plug which is on the side of the gearbox at the back of the engine you can go in normally so just a normal 8mm allen key bit on a ratchet is fine for that. I've got a torque wrench for doing those things up when we put them back in. I've got a normal piece of hose pipe and a funnel. That's for putting the oil into the differential. I've got something to drain the oil into. I've got an axle stand and a trolley jack and a flat blade screwdriver because I've undone the air hose on this car. And because it's got the R600, you need a flat blade screwdriver. If you've got a normal air box, you need some pliers or some hose clamp pliers. I've got a light as well, but probably only need that just so I can get better quality um, footage. Parts wise, it's really easy. You just need some Haldex oil. It uses the same Haldex oil that the rear diff does on, say, a Golf R, 850 mil, of which we'll use about half. And don't ask me why, but the official manual says you need to replace the filler plug, not the drain plug. So we've got a filler plug. This is available as a kit from Deutsche Parts. I'll put a link in the description of the video below. It's also handy to do this work on a warm day because it should only be performed when the oil temperature is between 20 and 40 degrees. Now, if you've got diagnostics, you can plug that into the car and drive the car until the temperature is correct, whether it's OBD11 or VCDS. But if you haven't got that, then I'd recommend you do it when the ambient temperature i.e. what the car tells you on the dashboard, is over 20 degrees. I plugged my VCDS into the car to see how that compared to the oil temperature in the VAQ unit, and it was a pretty much a dead match.
Okay, so the ambient air temperature is 22 degrees, the engine's cold, and the diff is in front of the bulkhead in the shade. So it should be pretty close to that down there, but I'm going to use VCDS to check. And the reason for doing this is because you may not have this or OBD11, and you want to maybe see what the correlation is between the ambient air temperature and the temperature at the VAQ clutch. So let's go in there. Differential locks module. We're going to look at a measured value, which is, I think the best one's clutch temperature, because oil is around the clutch. And it says here 22.7 degrees down there, which is within the 20 to 40 degrees specified by the factory. And actually, I quite like it to be lower because that means the oil is more dense. And that means when you get it up to the fill level, you've actually got more oil in the VAQ diff than you would have if you did it at 40 degrees. Now, it's that time in the video where I like to remind you guys how you can support the channel. The easiest way to do that is simply to subscribe. We're still getting a lot of views from non-subscribers and it's great to have the views, but it's not very good for the longevity of the channel. So if you like what you see and you want the channel to be around in 2024, then please, please do subscribe. I'm sure you know how to do that by now. The other way to support the channel is simply to give me the opportunity to buy your car. I buy for a reputable dealer, which means I can pay good money for the best cars. So at the moment, we're looking for Golf 7.5 GTI Performance and TCR and Mark 7 Golf GTI Club Sport and Club Sport S. We're also looking for facelift versions of the last generation of Audi S3 and RS3. In all cases, cars must be unmodified, have a full service history and be average mileage or below. So if you've got something like that, then email me directly, andrew at volkswizard.co.uk. So let's get started then on this VAQ oil change. The twat cam is back on the channel. I know a lot of you guys appreciated it in the last video so yeah it should take you where the cameras don't take you even though it does make me look a bit stupid right so first up we need to get the car in the air i'm going to work on the left hand side of the car because on this right hand drive car there's actually quite a lot of space on this side okay first up we're going to take out the filler plug and that's a to help it drain but also because you don't want to find out when you drain the oil that you can't actually get the filler plug out. So we're using the eight mil stubby bit in the ratchet. It's going to be really hard to show you where this is, but the VAQ diff is a long way over to the engine side of the engine bay. Um, it sticks out, it's a bit rectangular and on its side, which you can't see, but you can feel is the filler plug. So that's the old plug, which is a dead match for that one. That's good. Okay. Now we need to get the car up in the air. Switch over to ball-headed Allen. Okay, so the axle stands under the rear wishbone bush and now we need to get under the car actually i'm not sure i included in the tools one of the most important bits which is a chopped up fruit punnet and this is important because the, the diff drains onto the subframe and if you don't put this bit of plastic there on it underneath the drain so it drains into your container it'll just get stuck in the subframe okay so it's really awkward to get to the drain plug just because it sits above the subframe it's only like a couple of inches so we have to go in at an angle which isn't ideal but uh yeah this ball headed allen key seems to be the solution so that's in the hole and yeah, it's loose not an awful lot of torque which is good and we'll just wind it out by hand now And the camera's picking this up. OK. 
Okay, here it comes. Okay, what we do now is get the car on the flat so we get a nice drain. Okay, while it's draining, let's get ready for the next bit of the process. I fitted the O-ring onto the filler plug and I've lubricated it with some fresh Haldex oil so that's ready to go on. This is what we're going to use to um, fill the VAQ diff with oil. It's a specialist Volkswagen tool that's hundreds of pounds. Okay, I'm lying. It's a bit of hose pipe, five foot long, and it's got a normal funnel on the end of it. We're going to shove that in the VAQ diff and we're going to pour oil in there. Simple as that. Gravity does the job for us. And this is the perfect fit for the hole in the diff. But we need to pull it out every so often just to make sure we've got to the fill level. When the oil starts to come out of the fill hole, that's when we've got the right amount of oil in it. And we don't want to waste oil by putting the whole bottle in and then half it coming out because you might actually be able to get two oil changes out of this, which is important because Haldex repairs suggest that if a car goes on track, you should change oil every 2,000 miles. Obviously, my car goes on track sporadically. It does a lot of road miles. So I think 5,000 miles is about the right interval for me. If you don't go on track, maybe 10,000 miles. Um, but yeah, for what it costs and how easy it is, don't, don't neglect it because when the VAQ doesn't work, your car will drive very, very badly. Okay, I've left it for about 20 minutes, which should be ample. We're hoping about 400 mil comes out because that's the fill quantity during an oil change. It's actually 600 mil to fill the diff up from dry, but just 400 for an oil change. So let's get it back in the air and see what we've got. Fill plug. Okay, no more coming out. Okay, I just need to get this threaded in by hand. It is awkward. I'll say it's awkward. Okay, that's lined up. You got the ball in, and that's talked up. Okay, lovely. Right now, let's put some oil in. So uh, yeah, let's try and get this in. It's it's a tight fit isn't going to be the easiest video when it comes to camera angles. Actually, it's a good idea to leave something to drain the oil into because there is some that's going to come out. Let's just get this in place. this is looks like a litre bottle and it comes filled to 850 which is what you're buying 850 don't know why it's 850 850 so yeah it looks empty but it's 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 right on the flat table and you can see yeah it's eight nine so yeah so we want to get down to uh, 450 which is there Oops, yeah, we're well, there already actually. Let's see what's going on around the back. So I put the rag underneath the um, fill hole and I'm now gonna pull the hose out. Let's hope we're not flooded with oil. Let's get this out before it spills anything. Okay, let's 
get the fill plug in. That's the new shiny one. It's really easy to thread that in, trust me, because you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see how much has come out. Yeah, as you can see, some has come out, but it's not massive, so I think we've put the right amount in, which is bang on 400. Not to waste too much, but not to underfill it either. That's it, 40 newton meters. Not an awful lot. Well guys, that's the VAQ diff oil change done then on my Club Sport S. It actually is the second one it's had. It did have one at three years old. It's seven years old now, so it was due, though it hasn't actually done an awful lot of miles, but then it has been on track and it will go on track again on Friday, which will be the next video. It should be really good. It's actually a timed event at Bedford Autodrome, which is a bit different to the usual track days. And it just tend to make quite exciting footage because you're up against not only your own times from the past in different cars, in my case, GTI TCR, GTI um, Club Sport Mark 8, um, but we're also up against other people as well. And I'll be there with a couple of other VW fans in their modified cars. So it should be really interesting to see how they all um, compare. So look out for that video in the next couple of weeks. If you want to do this oil change on your VAQ diff yourself, then check out the kit from Deutsche Parts. Put a link in the description of the video below. When I saw my Leon Cupra, which was eight years old and 55,000 miles, the guy rightly asked me if it had a, a VAQ diff oil change. And I could not believe it when I went through the history. I couldn't find any trace of it. And if I can miss that on that car, which I drove on track, it did seem to work actually. But um, yeah, if I can miss that on, then it's really worth you checking your history to see if it's been done on your car. And if not, well, you know what to do. As ever guys, thanks for watching this Volks with a video. Keep subscribing, keep commenting, and I'll see you for the next one very soon with or without the twat cam.